Dominic, there's a great tradition of um, Shakespeare performance at the sits and sometimes very um, controversial Shakespeare performance. Does that history weigh heavily on your shoulders as, as you start to work on Hamlet or um, is every production a new beginning? Uh, I tend just to think that this is, this is the play I'm directing, this is a show we're putting on um, and that's the most important thing um, at this moment. But the whole history of the of the Sitz's repertoire in terms of classics, undiscovered classics, um, is something I'm very aware of. Um, and I guess, you know, in general, as part of my programming here, I want us to continue that tradition. I guess also what I, I, I sense from those past productions is a way of presenting these classics and, and the Shakespeare's um, that is uh, accessible and relevant and... and, and um, open to the whole constituency of our audience, whether it's the people in the Gorbals or, 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 or the West End. So I, I, I feel that quite strongly, that, that, that we don't want to just, uh, that we want to find a new way of presenting these plays for our audience today, and that feels within the sits tradition. Why Hamlet, Dominic? Why have you chosen, of all Shakespeare's 30-odd um, plays, why have you honed in on Hamlet at this time? I think for a number of reasons. Uh, it's a play that's always fascinated me. It's, I find it an extraordinary, kind of elusive, mysterious play. Um, so I've always wanted to direct it, and I've always wanted to direct it with Brian Ferguson, so that's certainly been part of the reason for doing it. But I guess the story of Hamlet, the relationships within it, Hamlet's own predicament, the, the, the questions that the play asks, um, and doesn't particularly answer, but, but certainly makes one think about, are so... Uh, eternal um, that I think that has to be, you know, Hamlet is for all time, I think, and, 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 and now as much as any other time. And what about the poetry or the balance between the poetry and the spectacle? Because there's often been a tradition at the Citizens with classic productions of making, you know, a huge visual um, statement. So how do you like to balance that um, relationship between the visual aspects of theatre and the poetry painting its own pictures? You know, over the last few years, I've, I've tended to work with the same people, uh, the same designers, the same composers, and I guess we've kind of created a way of working together that I, I really enjoy and hope that audiences do. So, uh, you know, visually, the production is quite simple. Everyone is on stage all the time, um, and it's very... Um, the theatricality of the piece is very exposed. Um, so there are no, you know, it's not a big spectacle in terms of scenery flying in and out, um, though hopefully there are one or two touches, but, but for me it's about those people speaking those lines, but at the same time creating a piece of theatre, and I think in itself that for Hamlet is quite interesting because he is a man obsessed with the theatre, with performance, um, and so sort of making that bare seems to work well with the play. Mm -hmm.